Hi Taurus, welcome to your June love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you know of returning, welcome and thank you. So this is intended for a connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you do at least have to know them in some way, shape or form. I believe there's a, some sort of love connection between the two of you. So however that uh, plays out for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Uh, take only the parts that resonate. If it's not resonating at all, it's probably not your reading. Please don't try to make it fit. It could be past, present, or future. Um, you can interchange the energies also uh, as you see fit. If this doesn't resonate for you, you can check um, your past readings. Links below for your past uh, readings, the playlist, love in general. I also do a singles reading on the channel. So if you are like totally single wondering, when will I find new love? Um, you can feel free to check those out also. Maybe something there will resonate for you too. So let's say we have a Taurus. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and healthy at this time. So you can check the description box below for all the information that you need to uh, need to know. Decks I'm using, uh, social media, how to reach out for private reading, tons of stuff down there. And if you're new, um, feel free to subscribe. Hit the bell. You don't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month, and they're all different. So feel free to check that out and if you like what you see. And thank you and welcome to the family if you do. So let's see what we have for Taurus. So this is a zodiac oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. We'll see how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. The rest of the reading could be for you. And then with this deck here, it's a new deck for me. is the Magdalene deck. So I'll pull an opening love energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. And then one for you, one for them. How are you both feeling about each other, the connection? One for the mutual energy. Clarify that energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at the situation. Advice, guidance, possible outcome. Bottom of the deck, clarification. And then angel answers at the end. So let's see what we have for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. Love at this time for Taurus Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Can we get a sign, element, or planet for Taurus? For Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sign, element, or planet. Feeling that one. Let's see what we have. And we have Jupiter. So this is Sagittarius energy, but doesn't have to be. So some of you could be dealing with the Sag. But if not, Jupiter is all about luck, expansion, faith, hope, hope, and optimism, a lot of positive energy. And Sagittarius does represent two cards in the Major Arcana, it represents the Wheel of Fortune, and it represents the Temperance. So Temperance can be about, you know, again, that peace and harmony and understanding and forgiveness and healing, balance, patient energy. And the Wheel of Fortune is divinely guided energy. Things turning in the right direction, things getting better, things meant for you uh, coming in that are meant for you, meant to be. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So, and I just noticed here Jupiter is 18, which is 9, and 9s can be about things coming full circle, things coming to a closure, things coming to an end, then there's always a new beginning in some way, shape, or form. All right, so let's see... What's going on for Taurus in love at this time, Spirit, please? Someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective. Show me what I need to see for Taurus and their person. What is the opening energy, the opening message for Taurus? Love at this time, Spirit, please, or whoever they're thinking about for this reading. One, there we go. Thank you. We have heart and soul. So this could be a very deep heart and soul connection. Heart and soul. So see how that plays in. So I feel like you definitely, you know, are connected through the heart and also the soul. So very could be a very spiritual connection also. Wow. Okay. So I didn't ask yet. Let's get one. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to take that for you, Taurus. Taurus, I'll put you here, your person here, and anytime you feel like the energies need to be switched, you can switch them around. All right, one for your person, and then I'm going to take the bottom for the mutual energy. And let's see what we have. War and Peace. So I feel like this is a very strong connection and tie 
you know, between the two of you, between your heart and your souls, could be a soulmate energy here. But I feel like you are either conflicted about this person or there's been a lot of conflict, a lot of, you know, breaking up, making up, you know, kind of energy. So let's see how your person is feeling, the lover. So they're definitely feeling the soulmate connection with you here. Whether or not it's just on the passionate side and they just like the intimacy, or this is like that heart, that mind, body, and soul connection of the lovers, where it's a deep, bound, soulmate connection. You may be a little torn up about it. Maybe that's why uh, about them. Um, I mean, that war could be inner conflict. So we'll see how this plays out. So let's see what the mutual connection is. So we have Sophia. So this is about forgiveness, healing, learning, um, love and appreciation, support. So that is the mutual connection. So I feel like they feel this deep connection with you. But you, I don't know, there's something in your energy here where you either are very con conflicted about this connection. You know, maybe you could be the in and out person, not sure if you want this person or maybe, you know, I'm getting also maybe you could be tend to be <laughs> a little argumentative or stubborn or hot-headed or, I mean, this could be the other person too, but I'm considering this side you. But I feel like they just want this heart and soul connection with you. They definitely feel you as your soulmate. So there definitely has to be forgiveness, healing, learning, appreciation, um, peace between the two of you. That's a mutual connection. I feel like you both want that. So whatever this war and peace is coming on your side, um, something you're struggling with or something here. So let's see. Let's clarify this energy. But I mean, Jupiter is here for luck, expansion, faith, hope, optimism. And that is kind of almost the energy of the Sophia card, but that's also about forgiving, healing, uh, learning kind of energy also. And that also kind of reminds me of the temperance card. So let's see what's going on here. I don't know if your person had another lover, and that could be the energy here, or if you did, but I'm not really getting that. I'm getting this person feels you, that connection with you on the heart and soul level of this deep soulmate um, energy, because the lovers does represent, you know, the lovers in the tarot, which is, you know, a deep soulmate bond, but it also can be about choices. Um, the tarot, you know, the lovers is about choice too, but not in this deck. This deck is about a true intimate connection with somebody. All right, so let's see, let's see what is going on. For you, Taurus, let's get two for you, two for them, two for the mutual energy. And clarify this energy for Taurus spirit, please. Thank you so much. One, one more, two. Let's get two for the mute for them, and then two for the mutual. Okay. See what we have for you. What is this warm piece about? So we have the Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords. So it could be uh, Taurus, you know, King or Queen. This could be for male or female. But the Queen of Swords does represent Libra. If I say the name, uh, the sign of the person you're dealing with, that's fine. If not, that's okay. Uh, you know, people like to hear the signs. So, but the Queen of Swords can be Libra, but King or Queen here. Uh, the Queen of Swords energy can be somebody who's been through a lot. They've kind of put up... Uh, a hard shell, exterior, you know, they can be a little cold and cutting, could have been, you know, past relationships that maybe put you in an energy of having this tough exterior, kind of a cold energy towards, you know, new love or just connections in general. So you're kind of like protecting yourself with this sword because this is about four swords, it's about healing, recuperating, rejuvenating, um, retreating. So it could be that you've spent a lot of time, you know, alone also because of past experiences but that does speak of healing so it could be you know that you've healed from the past but yet you still you know you don't forget but you know there's a part of you I feel that does want peace you know wants something peaceful for the future so and this person definitely feels you on the heart and soul level so how do they feel so we have the eight of pentacles and we have the princess of 
Cups. So this is the Page of Cups, and this is the um, Eight of Pentacles. So they definitely want to work on this with you. This is Earth energy. That's definitely your energy. So they definitely want to work on this with you. And the Princess of Cups is, you know, communication, Page of Cups, loving, affection, you know, communication. So I feel like they definitely want to shower you with love and affections in terms of endearment. They want to work on this with you kind of energy. They see you as their lover, and they have that very strong heart and soul uh, energy towards you. So let's see what the mutual energy is. So judgment and the three of cups. So I feel like here, you know, the three of cups um, to me always talks of reuniting, uniting, coming together, celebrating. Some people see it as a third party, uh, but I only see two people here. So if you're a little defensive and you maybe from past experience, you're like, yo, all, all men, all women, whatever, they cheat, blah, blah, blah. So this could be three, you know, you know, the probably is a third party. I don't think so. I'm not seeing that. But if you're worried about that, I would say no. I think they just want to be with you. They want to come together with you. They want to, you know, spend good times with you. But judgment, I feel like, you know, you could be judging this person or they have a fear of you judging them, like incorrectly also. But this judgment usually brings the soulmates together. So I feel like we have a strong soulmate tie here. And it is about forgiveness. So is that Sophia card. So whether this is forgiveness between the two of you or you learning to just, you know, forgive the past, you know, because this can be about resurrection of the past or forgiving the past, healing the past, and then making a judgment call to move on from that energy. But this energy is always the soulmates coming, true soulmates coming together. It's like the universe has, you know, already has that judgment call of who your soulmate is, your true soulmate. And I feel like it could be this person. So the energy is here of judging, fear of judging, that there's a third party when there's not, a fear of a third party. But I think, um, I don't think so. I think this is a true soulmate. And I think you're a little defensive on guard. You kind of, you know, maybe go into a retreat mode. It's like constant war and peace maybe within you, within you because of past experiences um, or things that you've been through that, you know, probably have you in this tough shell here, protecting yourself with that sword. Like you always have it ready, not afraid to use it <laughs> kind of energy. All right, so let's see more of the actual situation. So we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I felt that. I feel like that could be, you know, painful endings for you from the past. And we have a three, yeah. So you could have had a third party. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm getting past energy. So, because I see this, like, thinking back on the past. So you may have had, like, a hard, very hard ending in the past where there was a third party involved. And, you know, your person could have had a third party at their work environment or something like that. So it was a very hurtful, painful ending that you went through. That you had to, you know, do a lot of healing from the world. Yeah, so closing out chapters, starting new chapters uh, in the world here. So it could speak of travel, long distance. You know, maybe a person in the past had to travel for their career. Maybe, you know, there was always a distance between you. But this is a closing out chapter, starting new chapters here. So we have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio in this card. But I feel like this person um, definitely wants this world with you, I feel, also. But will you let them in and work on it with them? Or end it with the Ten of Swords energy? But I do see the sun here for massive healing over this Ten of Swords. So I think you did a lot of healing. So let's get more on the actual situation here for you. I just saw the Hierophant, which does talk of marriage more. The sun, so there you go, Leo energy. Total enlightenment, healing, happy home and family, success, victory, growth, abundance. They want this with you. They see you as that happily ever after, I feel. All right, this is way too many. All right, let's get a couple more for this actual situation. Actual situation for you, Taurus. So we have the two of wands. So this person is kind of at a crossroads. Like, they don't know what to do about you. Like, they feel this strong tie to you, you know, heart and soul tied to you. 
but you kind of put them in a crossroads and they're at a crossroads like they just don't, don't know what to do, what direction to go in, how to prove themselves, you know, what actions to take. We have the sun back here again. So, yeah, eight of cups. So they just don't know what to do here, you know, to give up, to walk away, to wait. This person, you know, the eight of cups is usually about walking away from something no longer fulfilling and going in search for something more. But this person is just sitting there, so they don't know whether or not to fight for this or walk away from this. But they definitely want this with you kind of uh, energy. That's what I'm feeling. I think you need to let get down your guard a little bit, Taurus, towards this person. I don't think they want to hurt you. I don't think they, they're going to cheat on you. They're just sitting here looking at this big cup right here. Uh, and they definitely want to go down that path with you in the sun. But I feel like, um, I don't know, I feel like you are either blocking them or, you know, kind of energy. So I feel like, you know, that war and peace, like you're at war with yourself, you know. But you need to find peace within yourself so that you can bring in the soulmate. All right, the soulmate wants to come to you, definitely. So let's see here, Taurus. Let's get some advice and guidance. So we have the Six of Cups. So here's saying this is a soulmate, past life soulmate. This could be somebody returning from the past for you. Maybe that was a past soulmate. This could be, you know, the person that broke your heart coming back, though I'm not really getting that. I'm feeling like this is somebody new. For some, it could be someone from the past returning that wants to right their wrongs, but I feel like this is somebody new, somebody, somebody new, but maybe somebody you knew long, long time ago, you forgot about returning, that maybe you had a little bit of a connection with a long time ago. Past lives, nostalgia, uh, kind of energy. Could be children involved in some way, shape, or form in this connection, but this is your advice or guidance letting you know this is a soulmate. You could have had past lives with this person. King of Swords, so Gemini energy here. So, you know, the King of Swords is somebody who is very open, honest, truthful, uh, clear-minded, logical, straightforward. You know, they stand up for what they believe in. They don't take BS. So we have a matching couple here. So this definitely is a soulmate energy. This is a soulmate energy. This is, you know, King, Queen, Ace always mind, reminds me of divine clarity, divine intervention from source, shedding light and clarity on a situation also. So that's what I see. So let's get some more for this advice for you. I feel like you need to let down your walls a little bit. Find your inner peace. Conquer your inner, I don't want to say demons, but fears or whatever you I feel like you're at war within yourself because of the past and you need to find that peace within yourself so you can let this new true love soulmate in this is a on a heart and soul level soulmate especially with the lovers there and with the flower there I mean they just want this growth and abundance and prosperity with you for the future especially with the sun here all right, what else here? The devil, yeah. So the sword here to cut out this devil energy. So that's that toxic energy, you know, that you could be holding on to from the past. You know, past hurts, fear, um, low self-esteem, negative thinking, judgment energy. All right, what else? Eight of swords, so mental entrapment, yep. King of Swords here with that sword to cut away all this energy. And the Eight of Wands to take action. So advice here is to realize what kind of connection this is. This is a true soulmate connection that you can get into your King or Queen sword energy. Cut away all this toxic thinking energy stuck in your head. I just need a drink of water. And start to take positive uh, movement forward. You know, wants very fiery, passionate uh, action, travel, movement forward. We have two eights here. Eights are about taking action, travel, movement. So it's time to take action. It's time to get moving. It's time to release yourself 
from the toxic ties in your heart and your mind that tie you down. And release that and start to move forward. And don't lose this opportunity with this true love soulmate here. Wow. Okay. Because I only see luck, expansion, faith, hope, optimism with the Jupiter energy. So let's get some... Again, you can switch the roles here if you feel like, okay, that's not me, it's my person. Then please feel free to do that. All right. So let's get a uh, possible outcome for you, Taurus, in this energy. So you have the two of pentacles. Finding balance, juggling things around, finding balance, weighing the pros and cons, death. So this is ending and transforming, transcending, new beginnings. The magician, so yeah, manifesting a new beginning here. So we have Scorpio and we have Gemini Virgo with the magician. And the five of wands, so conflict. I feel like the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, it's that inner conflict, that inner warm peace within yourself, trying to find your you know, inner balance so you can transcend, transform old ways of thinking, being, uh, judging relationships, judging people, you know, ending that mentality and transcending, transforming so we can have this new beginning. And you see the eyes illuminated here for truth, clarity. We have all the energies here to manifest going forward. So you can end and transform, transcend into a new beginning if you choose to. Balance out your energy and end this inner conflict around you, in you. Wow. Ace of Swords. So let's see. Let's get five from the bottom. Yep, so here's the Wheel of Fortune showing up. So we have the Ace of Swords. So again, that's a divine clarity, um, epiphany, aha moment, cutting away things, energies, ways of being, thinking, um, no longer serving you. Divine clarity coming in. Victorious new beginning. Open, honest, truthful communication. Six of Swords. Healing and moving on to a better place, mentally, physically, with your soulmate. Leaving all BS behind and moving forward to peace, harmony, balance. To what? Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. A loving relationship with the Ten of Cups. Prince of Cups. So now we're moving forward in love. This is the Knight of Cups, which could be a Scorpio, but doesn't have to be. So now we're moving forward in love to the Ten of Cups, together to a place of peace, harmony, bliss, based on pure truth and clarity, because you see this way, almost like an eye. So opening your eyes to this connection. Because, and I had said with the Wheel of Fortune, last card, Jupiter, Sagittarius, Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, divine timing, fate, destiny. This is a faded, destined connection for you, help you heal your heart, mind, body, and soul from all your past trauma, hurts, uh, conditions from the past. This person will be so good for you, Taurus, I feel. And it'll help you heal all that energy and move forward. And I feel like this will be like a love like you've never known, of total like growth, abundance, healing, transforming, transcending, divine timing, fate, destiny, meant to be, things getting better with the Wheel of Fortune, fate and destiny, Sagittarius energy there. Wow. So Sagittarius opening and Sagittarius closing. Wow. All right, so let's get some... Closing messages for you, Taurus. If you're a Taurus cross watcher, this message could be for you. All right. So let's see. Let's see for Taurus closing. All right. I'll take that one. Listen to your intuition. So somebody here needing to listen to your intuition, your higher knowing, trusting in source kind of energy about this uh, person. All right. If you feel that connection on the heart and soul level, don't ignore that. Listen to your intuition. Stop judging. This is faded and destined. Again, forgiveness coming up here. And that all started with the Sophia card. It's about healing, forgiveness. What else here for Taurus? Taurus. Wow. We've got three that just shoot, shoot out. Opportunity. Don't miss this golden opportunity with this person. Meditation brings answers. Again, you know, healing, 
faith, hope, optimism, listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, perfect timing, the wheel of fortune, divine timing, fate, destiny, meant to be. This is a perfect time that are coming into your life, even if it doesn't seem like it. And bottom of the deck, don't stop. So this person, I feel like, isn't going to stop because they, they feel, they, I think they know, they already know you're the one, you're their person. And I feel like they're not going to stop. Because they definitely want to help you, want to heal you, want to be with you, want to love you. And they feel that deep, deep uh, connection with you, Taurus. Wow, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, best of luck to you. Sending you may, many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.